Hey guys, welcome back. So for today, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do a project um, for basically for all the kids that are uh, at home and uh, are bored and don't have anything to do. Um, my wife came up with this, that great idea. She said, uh, hey, do something for them so that they can uh, uh, work on a, a project with you. And uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to... Um, we're going to be doing this one with um, colored pencils and um, some uh, ink and uh, maybe even some watercolor pencils. Uh, I'm not quite sure exactly yet, um, but uh, the kids can basically use whatever they have at the house. They can find and if they can find markers, crayons, colored pencils, whatever they have laying around. So. Um, I'm going, I'm going to attach a, uh, a PDF, uh, in, in the description and, um, you can, uh, if you have a printer, you, you can, um, uh, download it and print, uh, print it out on your printer and they can just, uh, color right along on that. Um, and, uh, uh, you're more than welcome to join them too. So, uh, it should be lots of fun. Uh, let's get to it. Why would you believe what a tiger tells you? Because he's definitely not a lion. <laughs> so there's the uh, dad joke for today. Um, shout out for my nieces and nieces, Sophia and Addie, and uh, for all the kids and adults at home right now. Um, gonna try to, I, we are doing this, uh, we, we're gonna speed this up, like uh, so. It's a speed painting, so uh, if not, it would be a like a two-hour-long uh, video, and uh, that takes a long time to process. So, um, to shorten it up, I'm just gonna speed it up. If you need to at any point in time, go ahead and uh, and pause it or rewind it and uh, go back um, to get caught back up again. So basically I'm starting out uh, on the eyes and um, doing those first because I think it's a good focal point, good point to start with in the middle. Hopefully you had a chance to check out my uh, my Facebook live stream I had a couple nights ago. Uh, it was my first first time doing that so it was, uh, it wasn't very good <laughs> but it, um, it was my, like I said, it was my first time so hopefully they'll get better with the more I do them. I'm going to be doing those uh, Facebook live streams weekly and uh, having a contest. So uh, definitely uh, keep an eye out for that. So I'm using colored pencils, as you can see. Um, and basically I decided to go ahead and lay in the all the stripes, the black stripes in uh, first. And I don't know if that was necessarily a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, it, uh, it worked out pretty, pretty decently. I was pleased. So here you can see I'm using, um, basically it's a, uh, it's a blending tool. Uh, it's paper that's kind of, uh, um, wrapped up and uh, it goes to a point and um, that's to basically bend, blend everything um, when you're uh, when you're trying to uh, get everything kind of more consistent so it's you're not seeing the little pencil marks and 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 things so I'm, I'm right now I'm putting in a really uh, fine base you can see how I'm holding my pencil um, kind of from the end and uh, uh, just really lightly putting in uh, um, a first layer and then I go back in with that blending tool and 
and kind of blend it a little bit. And you'll be able to see here um, after a bit, you'll, you'll be able to see where I <clears throat> demonstrate. Um, if you don't have one of those uh, blending tools, you can just uh, wrap a piece of uh, paper towel or toilet paper and, and uh, get it to a kind of a point and use your finger and try to blend out some things. And again, I'll show you that here coming up shortly. So hopefully all you kids are uh, doing well and the uh, best best thing to do in my opinion uh, to pass the time is uh, practice doing your your artwork do some drawings and uh, practice makes perfect you'll get better the more you do it I, I do the same thing I'm still still practicing and still learning all the time so it's good to do you can see where I'm using that paper towel and uh, blending a little bit with it so I'm just laying in like I said the uh, real light real light first coat of colored pencil and you can do the same thing with crayons or if you're just going to do a black and white you can do it in uh, in pencil and then going back through and blending the first layer And like I said before, if you need to um, to rewind it, go ahead and rewind it and until you get caught up to where I'm at. So now I'm just putting in a little bit of a darker color over top of that light. I'm just working in a little bit of a, a darker color. Working from light to dark. You can add layer upon layer. Each time getting a little bit darker putting a little bit more fine details in so I'm adding a little bit of a little bit of pink just real lightly adding in some pink around in, in his ears And uh, adding in some gray as well. So the gray will help to offset the the white. And I'm going to go back in with uh, just some white uh, paint on a real fine tip brush and add in some real fine hairs. I do have some uh, some white pens on order that are coming in, so um, I'll be able to to use those as well but I'm just adding in some real fine hairs um, and started off with the light and uh, getting a little bit darker each time and again some more of that gray to help offset some of that that white there's a lot of uh, real fine white hairs in, his, in, in the ears there I'm blending some of that in before I put the white in
And here I'm actually um, going over with some ink. I wanted to really darken up that uh, that black. And uh, I could have used the, uh, the color pencils and just went a little bit in harder and darker on it and um, kind of tried to do it that way. But this, this was a lot easier for me to just uh, apply some ink right over top of that black and really darken that up. You can use a, a black marker if you wanted to use a black marker and darken that up as well. Had a hard time, hard time deciding what I what I wanted to to use. I I uh, have some watercolor uh, pencils, and I was really wanting to try those out as well. But I thought, for the sake of uh, doing this video for for all you guys uh, at home, um, we would uh, do something a little bit more simple as far as uh, tools. So. Uh, you can achieve uh, very similar results with uh, with crayons or markers or so at this point is going in and adding some just a little bit more fine details with the color pencils and and starting over from the beginning again with the with the with the, the cubs body So I did run into some technical difficulties, so I apologize for that, where uh, it kind of skipped ahead there, but uh, you're basically doing the same thing uh, on the body that you would do for his, uh, his face and his head. And I'm just going right through right now with uh, that white, like we, like I mentioned, and just putting some real fine little white hairs in there. Uh, I'm using a paintbrush and a real fine tip paintbrush, and just lightly putting in tiny little, little brush strokes for uh, for white hairs in there, just for the fine details. And just take your time with it. I mean, this is a, it's a process, so um, don't try to rush it. Try to just uh, have fun with it. And you can work on it for a little bit and put it aside and come back and work on it after a while. So but just uh, just really take your time with it and, uh, and have fun. Like I mentioned before, I, I like to put some music on and just listen to some music and just... Uh, just have fun with it. And I'm using just a, a black uh, pen and and adding in some a little bit more fine details and like I said just layer upon layer alright guys so because of uh, technical dif difficulties um, 
wasn't able to finish my tire cubs uh, for this week. So I figured I would go ahead and just post what I have and you guys can um, work on your guys' project. And then what we could do is, um, if you want, you can, if you're in, and if you're able to, uh, if you can upload it, uh, put a copy of yours on my Facebook page. Uh, it's um, Brush Away Boredom on Facebook. And uh, if you can uh, um, upload uh, your guys' pictures to my Facebook page, that would be awesome. So we could check those, check those out. And uh, uh, I'll do the same. So and we can talk about it uh, on Facebook. And, and, and if you guys have any questions or um, comments, that'd be great. Uh, so for this week's episode, uh, we're done. But uh, uh, come back again. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe and uh, uh, check out my Facebook page, like I said. Um, and uh, we look forward to seeing you guys next time.